For this project, what we're going to do is get our Virtuobotics PIR working really simply. So, first of all, if you've never seen the PIR, this is what it looks like. You've got a little shield on the outside that spreads the infrared. And underneath is the emitter and receiver. And so what this does is it spreads out the infrared using this lens, gets the return signal, and measures the overall density, which tells it the volume of the room. Okay? So on the underside here, you have this knob right here, which is should be in this position, which is the far left, which is its quickest cycle. The latch time increases the further it is to the right, um, all the way up to over a minute. So it can be kind of annoying if you have it set anywhere other than the two second mark, which is the far left position. This guy right here is actually the centering of the focus. So if you're looking mostly for things that are far away, you should take it to the rightmost position. If you're looking for mostly things that are nearby, you should take it to the leftmost position. By default, we put it in the middle, so it's just a, you know, overall good for most of its range. Okay, so now if you want to go ahead and use this, uh, you don't really need a microcontroller to use it, though for a lot of logging applications or actual reactions, you probably will want to. For this guide, we're going to go ahead and use the Versalino Nano just to power it. So, uh, with the Nano, you want to put on VDD. So, VDD red. And I'm going to put green on the ground down here. Uh, and if you're not familiar with it, the uh, convention for the Versalino bus, the circle is for ground and the square is for VDD. This one up here is your raw power. That's the VN. So just be careful if you're ever going to use that because obviously if you're putting in more than 5 volts, you could damage anything that you're trying to connect to that pin. Okay. So the other thing we're going to need is a breed board. And if you look here, let's see if we can get it focused. What you have is the 5 volt the output and the ground. Okay? We're going to be putting it on the board like so. So we're going to use an LED which should be able to see it there. This side is larger internally than the other side. That tells you this side needs to go to ground. This side needs to go to VDD. Also another way of seeing it is looking at the pin lengths. So the short pin is the ground. The long pin is VDD. Okay, so since we have our output on the middle pin and we have the ground on the outside pin, we're going to go ahead and put it in place with the short pin on the third one up and the long pin on the middle, which is our output. Okay? Right now we have this set in default mode. We're just going to plug it into the board like so. Um, so you see that it's plugged into the very far bottom right side. And now all we got to do is take the ground and place it right here on the third pin up and the VDD place it on the bottom pin. So now the output is only touching the LED pin. Now all you got to do is give you your Versalino Nano external power. It may take up to 40 seconds for your sensor to settle. So just wait and then after about 40 seconds now it's made a detection. After that it should be able to detect fairly well. And there you go. 
So that's the simplest way you can use it. Now let's say that you actually wanted to respond. All you'd have to do is take another pin, put it right here, and connect it to one of the IOs on your actual Versalina. Let's go ahead and use P1. All right. So now all you have to do is program P1 as an input and look for when P1 goes high to do whatever action you wanted to. And that's really all you have to do to uh, monitor the PIR. The nice thing about the latch time is if you're not really sensitive about how long between cycles it goes, you can actually set the latch time to a longer latch and only check on a very rare basis. However, with most microcontroller st stuff, two seconds is more than enough time for you to check at an interval of. Okay, and so that is everything you need to know about the PIR for uh, at least getting started.